when we do experience a mistake, that, that experience can weigh on us and hold us back from taking action. All in all, how we treat mistakes can prevent us from success. In this video, I want to discuss a few key ways that we need to perceive and act when mistakes happen to ensure that we continue to live for ourselves. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter, leadership and empowerment coach at Live For Yourself Consulting, where we coach individuals to create a career they love. If you like what you see, if you take one thing away from this channel and these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to that button to be notified of new content. So the other day I sent out a newsletter and I loved the message in this newsletter. It was discussing the fact that we need to live in the present because nothing is forever. And I was making a joke about immortality and kind of referencing like the Holy Grail. And I double checked the newsletter multiple times, sent it out, was really pumped about it because I thought it was really good information. And a couple people responded that they took a lot of great tidbits of advice from it. And then a few hours later, I get an email, did you mean immortality or immorality? Because those are very different. And I went back to the newsletter and I, I reread what I wrote and I was like, oh man, I did spell that wrong. And so I made a mistake. And I could react in a couple different ways. I could send out an immediate response to the thousands of people that subscribe to me, respelling the word. I could be down on myself and say, how could you do that? Are you an expert? Double check next time. Or I can look at this experience and laugh about it and say, most people probably knew what I meant. And this is awesome because I have content for my next newsletter and for a YouTube video. If you take action, you are bound to make mistakes, 100%. I mean, I remember wondering, I was reading through textbooks and, and finding spelling errors and being like, how did someone not catch this? But if you've ever written a book, there are going to be errors that you find, no matter how many editors you have, years after you publish that book. So mistakes are a given. How you frame them and how you react to them depends on how you feel. It doesn't really change anything outside of yourself because they're going to happen. So we need to accept that mistakes are going to happen and frame them as opportunities. What can we, what can we now do the fact, like, with the fact that we made this mistake? You know, we're not going to be down on ourselves. We're actually going to see how can I leverage this moving forwards? And then of course, learn from it, like try to prevent it in the future, but really frame mistakes as now, how do I use this to create a positive outcome? So next time you make a mistake, ask yourself, what do I need to do right now to not dwell on this, but to move forwards to make progress and to take greater action because of this event? Use that frame moving forwards and I promise you, the fear of making mistakes or the fact that you're you know, dwelling on things and wasting time because of, of a mistake will be minimized and you will find that you, you are happier, you're less stressed about the fear of making a mistake and more will come from it because you're being transparent and vulnerable and open about the fact that you are human. And then you use that humanity to just make even more progress and success. So thank you everyone for listening. Thank you for listening to my mistake, which is now hopefully adding some value to your life, to where you're taking more action and not worrying so much about mistakes. If you've taken one thing away, make sure to share this, this with a friend. You can hit subscribe, little bell next to that subscribe button to be notified of new content. But most importantly, what I want from all of you is to keep on living for yourself.